Hello and welcome to Boss Over TV. Here are the headlines. We visit a new local radio station based in Creswell. The council is all set to hold a Meet the Bar event at the end of the month. Keep up to date with the latest news by signing to the council's email newsletter system. And we visit the Flower Bee in Creswell to find out how they've adapted to the challenges of the pandemic. But first, an old building in Whitwell, which used to be home to the local co-op shop, has been transformed into five one-bedroom flats. The property had been empty for some years and was an eyesore on the high street until the council's empty properties team worked with Action Housing to turn the building into affordable, good quality housing. The flats are now available for local people who need local properties to rent through the council's housing register. We went to the official opening to have a look at the new homes. I'm really pleased uh, today to open this building, which was once the uh, co-op. It's been laying empty now for what, over five years. It's made five uh, one-bedroom flats. This is a fantastic building. Uh, the flats uh, are brilliant. I've been and had a look around this morning. Uh, they're quite spacious. I know it's something that, that means a lot to you from our previous conversations. You always speak really passionately on, on social housing. So how pleasing is it to see a oh, result like this? Oh, it's fantastic. We are desperately short in Bolsover District of new social housing that is of a really good affordable nature and this is marvellous because now at long last we have something in the heart of Whitwall. It's vital at the moment in, this time, in these hard times, especially with the mounting unemployment that is going to happen. It's going to be harder and harder for people to actually afford rents in the private sector. So it's come just at the right time. And just finally, on a wider scale, to take a building that's derelict and, and a bit of an eyesore in the community, to turn that into something that helps the community must be really pleasing for you to be involved in. Absolutely, it is really very pleasing to be involved in and Action Housing have given cast iron guarantees that they are looking to house local people who, who need local properties and they are going to work with the Bolsover District Council housing team and uh, ensure that the right people are accommodated in these, these uh, flats. Now, just like Bolsover TV, community radio stations can provide a voice for the local community. Fueled by the hard work and enthusiasm of volunteers, they reflect a diverse mix of cultures and interests and provide a rich mix of mostly locally produced content. And now Creswell is about to get their own community radio as Crags Radio has launched today. What started as a podcast by local man John Steamson has now grown into a radio station and is available through the internet. We spoke to John about about the project and what the new radio station will bring to the local community. So this is Craig's Radio, uh, a brand new online community radio station. Completely new, fresh start, something completely different. It's come from a lot of consultation, a lot of reaching out, lots of friends and family that have supported through the, through the whole 12 months that it's took us to get to this point really. Um, but it's, it's down to the volunteers that luckily we've got involved. Basically started by myself, almost 35 of us now. And everybody's really keen and wanting to do something quite unique in Cresswell, so. It's a real passion project for you. Oh, absolutely, yeah, massive passion, yeah. I mean, I love, I never really intended it to become radio. Uh, started as a podcast at home, and then it got expanded onto radio. And since then, for the last four years, it's been a community radio show that I've been doing. And then, yeah, so the idea where to set something up that I could call my own. And a year in motion, that moment when you, that red line goes live. Are you uh, slightly nervous or are you looking? Uh, I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous, but I think some of the presenters will be nervous, yeah, because some of them are quite new to radio. Um, so, you know, for them, it's going to be um, a bit nerve wracking. It, it, it always is radio. I think when you've done your first couple of shows, even though there's nobody there watching you, you know that somebody potentially could be listening. So it is a little bit nerve wracking, I think, when you first do your, your first couple of shows. But after that, you know, everyone will be. Not, not overly confident, but they should be, they should be a bit more comfortable in, in doing radio. And you know, it's about uh, the audience interaction and knowing that people are enjoying the music that you're playing, or if you're doing quizzes or anything really, it's, it's the feedback from the audience. And you know if you've got minimum or thousands of listeners, um, it's the interaction that you know that you've, sort of, you've, you've done well. 
The council has launched an email newsletter system in late 2020, and so far over 700 individuals have registered to receive them. You can sign up to various different topics, such as tourism and culture, waste and recycling, businesses and the environment, and you can receive the news you want directly to your inbox. The system will ensure you are able to access news and events from the council at the touch of a button. The Council is holding a Meet the Buyer event aimed at businesses who may want to work with the Council on forthcoming projects. The event will go through the process of procurement and advice on how to tender for contracts. The event is being held via Zoom on Wednesday, the 27th of January. And finally, an entrepreneur in Creswell turned an old pigsty and dairy into a thriving florist and likes nothing more than welcoming and talking to customers. The Flower Bee in Creswell is a local florist which provides itself on customer service and selling only the best quality flowers. And after retraining to be a florist, quirky owner Sue is loving life and enjoying her career, which certainly came through when we visited the shop. The Flower Bee was born because when I went to retrain to be a florist, at Clarendon College many years ago, thousands of years ago really, um, the, the tutor always said, Sue, leave room for the butterflies and the bees in a foliage, in your flowers. And so there's got to be height and movement so you can see the flowers. And that the bees and the butterflies that we did rely on to carry on as life can get there and get the pollen that they produce. Flower Bee originally was a, a, a pit in a pigsty because this outbuilding was outbuildings for what was an old dairy. The shop was a very slim, narrow, garrow, uh, narrow galley and it had logs to put the flowers on. We used everything that was used in there to create the Flower Bee came off of skips or what we'd already got or, okay, or ourselves to make the counter the cladding for the walls, everything. We bought nothing. Now we have a shop. I've got a shop instead of working in a big sty. And it's tremendous and I love it. And your enthusiasm for both those hairdressers and here as well in the present comes through. I mean, I've been talking to you off camera yeah. and, it, and it comes through and you, you pride yourself on, on the customers that come through this door, don't you? More than, because if it wasn't for the customers that came come here, we're nothing. We are jobless florists. You know, because they make this shop the flower bee. It's not about us, it's about them and their involvement and the happy times, the sad times. We share it all. And, and that's really, and, and one of the signs, if you look in the shop, it says service with a smile. And if people don't get that, please tell me, because we, we pride ourselves first on quality, service, and customers. We love them. I'm quirky, I'm different, I'm stupid, I'm ditzy, I'm all of those things. At the end of the day, if we don't, if we don't enjoy what we're doing, it won't betray in the things that we sell to people and we do for people. That's all we've got time for. We hope you've enjoyed watching and I look forward to seeing you soon on Bolsover TV. Goodbye.